Today we are going to make this procedural strawberry with which you can have all the controls you want to increase the number of seeds, number of leaves and etc. First of all, we'll just take a cube in our scene of course. Press Ctrl 4 to apply a subdivision level of 4. So this is how a strawberry looks like. We have to shape it like a strawberry so go into edit mode. Press Ctrl R to add a edge loop. Add more edge loops as per your liking and then I will shape it like a strawberry scaling down the bottom. Modifying the top as well. Let's head to the geometry nodes. Go to the geometry node editor and here we'll click on new. The first step we would need to create some seeds. For that we will use a node called distribute points on faces. This one. But you can connect it directly right here. We'll use this to connect here and then join it back again using a join geometry node of course and connect the points back. Now we have the points but we want to convert them into proper seeds. So we'll use instance on point for that. For the seeds let's use icosphere for now. That would be a great choice. Also let's reduce down their stay radius. That's quite a lot. Now the next step would be to scale them and make them look like seeds. But if we scale them on the Z axis or my bad on the Y axis, they are becoming seeds but at some angles they are not scaling in the right direction because we have to provide the proper rotation to every seed. For that we'll just use this normal and directly plug in to the rotation. But that's not gonna be that easy, right? Of course. So we'll use a node called align Euler to vector. So this will convert this vector value into rotation value for our rotation so it won't fight back with us. So first of all we'll change it to Y and set it to auto of course. Now we can scale it down properly. We have to scale it on the X axis first then we'll scale it on the Y as well just like that. Now you might notice the distribution of these points or these seeds are quite very ununiform. So if you want to make them a little bit more uniform as a strawberry has, we can change the method to poison disk and then we'll change the distance minimum to a little bit value. So now they are distributed at an even distance. If you increase the density now, they will look like proper strawberry seeds. After getting the seeds, we want the geometry around these seeds to be going inside the surface around them is been bent inwards. Create that, that is also easy. So for that we'll use a set position node and we have to make sure to connect it to the strawberry mesh which is the group input. And now using these instances we'll tell geometry node hey make some dents here. For that we'll use geometry proximity which will give us the distance. If we connect this geometry and then use this distance to the offset nothing's going to happen. It's giving us an exclamation or whatever it, this thing is. It's saying instance in input geometry are ignored. Why are you ignoring? Because we have to realize these instances. We have to realize them that you are actual mesh. This is not quite like the distance. This is some ghost strawberry. To fix that first of all we would need is the normal value so that we can multiply it so that they all don't go in one direction they go in the normal directions. We'll first use a color ramp make our dent more precise because they are too huge of a dent right now. Something like that would do for me right now. I will just simply do is use a vector math node make sure it is a vector math not a math node because it will work properly only in vector math. Change the mode to multiply and now it should work. First thing is we have to provide more geometry so that it can give us more proper results. So that for that we will use sub divide mesh and put it right here. You have to fine tune this color ramp to get more better result. You have to change around with the color as well. So I've made it into something like this. Now it looks like proper holes. Now to fix these jaggered faces we can use a set shade smooth for that and put it right here and now that is good to go and we are almost there. If we remove my multiply node right here the holes are not that strong and actual strawberry holes are very quite a lot deeper than this something like this now it looks more like a strawberry than a smooth shaded object. Now to make our strawberry more displaced and look not like a proper shape. So we'll use a node called set position again and connect a noise texture to it like that. If you connect it directly it will give weird results. So we'll use 
a vector math for that and connect position to it let's reduce down the scale to something like that so we can have a little bit of weird shape like that change it to 40 to get various result it's time we make a leaf for our strawberry so for that we'll use a mesh line first of all connected to the joint geometry now we have to properly set our mesh line so from where it starts and where it ends that is quite important so i will keep it just right here where it is at the top of our strawberry change the offset as well so it just doesn't go too much far so let's just make a leaf out of a plane let's move it up but apply some edge loops on it I like that i will check this proportional editing tool and scale it properly like a leaf also move this one down change the method to a sphere Now the last thing that we have to do is go to option here, change origin. Now we can move the origin of our leaf. So let's just move it on the x axis and bring it just at the tip of the leaf. And again uncheck the origin so that we don't move the origin again. Now let's just bring it in our leaf inside right here directly. And now using this mesh line we'll use a instance on points. Connect it right here and join our geometry to the instances. Now we have so many leaves. But the issue right here right now is they are stacked together so what we can do is use a node called combine xyz and use random value of course now connect this to the rotation and we'll use it in the z value so it gives random rotation on the z value we can take it however much we want we can change around with the seed of how you want the leaves now the next step would be to rotate them down on the y-axis they are stacking too much on each other so we'll change the x value from here avoid the meshes going into each other now the next thing i would like to do is use random value again and connect it before we connect it to the scale to give it random scale of to all the leaves what we'll do is connect copy this value and paste it to the maximum so that it doesn't go far away and connect it to the scale now now we can get random values on our scale the last thing i would say is is to change the position of these leaves so we'll use transform geometry again for them and let's move them out a little bit so that they don't collide with each other that much also change around with the seed of rotation to get proper result for yourself after the leaves are done what we have to do is the leaves all look similar way too much so we can again apply the same displacement on that so we can just control c this we have to use another vector math node and change the value to minus 0 0.5 so that they get back to their original position and if you like to finish your strawberry we can add another cube right here bring this in as well in our geometry nodes to apply some displacement on it and just like that we have the stem of the strawberry as well now the thing we have to do is finally just apply particular materials to each and every one of them so first of all let's just create a good texture for it so currently we have a principal bsdf i'll apply to it so first of all we use a color ramp we use two of them first one will define the colors that will be positioned on our strawberry so we want some colors like some red add another one you want some darker red add another one you want some greens like that and we want some yellows as well like that now we'll use a mix node mix color node actually connect it to the b and change the first one to color to red which will be the main color of the strawberry now connecting it back to the base color we get nothing because we have to define where we want these colors to be distributed around it so we'll use the factor connected to this color ramp and right now it cannot define properly because we have to use a noise texture for that we'll connect the noise texture right here and connect it to a generated texture if we crank it up as you can see you will be able to see some of those color distribution now this texture is not being distributed properly so to properly distribute this color we'll use a green texture connected and then connect it to the same texture coordinate like that 
also finally uh, we have to adjust around with this color so that we can see the mixed result properly you won't be able to see properly because now we can see it properly yes so let's increase the scale value as well so that we can see more of details on our strawberry right there and lastly for some more roughness on our geometry we can use is a pump noise texture again connecting again with this mapping and coordinate texture connecting it to the height and connecting reduce the strength of course use a color ramp in between and connecting it to the normals we have to crank the scale of the fake displacement let's make it 50 so we can see those that fake displacement i think we can move use one more data which is this one so what we can do is use store named attribute right here we can connect this value right here as well and change it to vector because it's a vector value and we can go back to the shader editor go back to our red material use attribute and we can set this one as t for now paste it let's visualize it as you can see this is what we are getting from it color ramp connect it right here so now what we can do one more thing is use it again connect the color to this and i've changed it to value well there are other mode as well we can use as you can see the areas around the seeds have become darker now it feels more like of a strawberry you can of course adjust around with this for example if you want to increase the number of count of your leaf so what you can do is take your group input and connect your count to it now we have that count value outside of our geometry so we can directly control it from here if you want to properly name it that is also really easy what we can do is as you can see we can press n to bring this panel up go to the group and click on this count and double click it and you can change it to leaf number and oh and it will change it to that particular thing you can connect more thing as well so for example i want to connect is random value so i will connect this random seed so i can directly change the leaf seed from outside as you can see right here you can again rename it and change it to leaf seed of course that way you can make a lot of group input and you have a lot of controls outside this was all for this tutorial my friends if you like got any helpful tip from this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel also leave down your comments if you have any doubts so so i will see you in the next video if you have subscribed to my channel